Man United have reportedly moved into the lead in the race to sign Bologna forward Joshua Zerksi. Zerksi caught the eye as he scored 12 goals in all competitions last season, while proving his link-up play was also of a high standard as he provided seven assists. It was previously reported the 23-year-old has a £33.7 million buyout clause and had been targeted by AC Milan, who were considered front-runners for his signature. However, new reports from Italy claim that the Red Devils are now considered favourites to land Xerxi, but will have to wait until after Euro 2024 to do so. According to La Gazzetta dello Sport, Milan's move for the forward stalled amid hefty agent demands and has not progressed since. The outlet claimed that, while United's move hasn't progressed a fair amount, they still remain the front-runners to land the Netherlands international. However, any potential deal will have to wait until after Euro 2024, where the Bologna star is currently away with the Netherlands national side. Xerxi was a late call-up to the squad, following Frenkie de Jong's injury which ruled him out the competition, and is yet to make an appearance in Germany. Man United, Meanwhile, are also moving closer to signing Bayern Munich defender Matthijs De Ligt, as they look to bolster their defensive options this summer. De Ligt, who was in Holland's squad for the Euro 2024 victory over Romania, is keen to work with his old Ajax boss Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford. United are ready to offer De Ligt, 24, a five-year contract if they can strike a deal for £42 million including add-ons with Bayern Munich, who need the money to sign Jonathan Tarr from Bayer Leverkusen as his replacement. United want De Ligt to play on the right side of central defence and have not given up hope of signing Branthwaite to play alongside him on the left if they can sell players to raise the funds. An opening bid of £38 million plus £5 million in add-ons was rejected by Everton who don't want to sell the 22-year-old but could be forced to listen to offers in the region of £70 million. United are unlikely to go that high but are weighing up an improved offer for Branthwaite who is understood to have grown increasingly agitated over the lack of movement in negotiations. However, United are expected to step up their transfer business now Dan Ashworth has been cleared to start work as sporting director as they look to bring in a striker and defensive midfielder as well. Manchester United have not ruled out the possibility of allowing Marcus Rashford to leave amid a possible adjustment to the player's representation. It is understood Rashford's brother, Dwayne Maynard, has held discussions with an agency to potentially assist managing the United forward. Mr Maynard has been approached for comment. Rashford, 26, only signed a new five-year contract worth £325,000 a week last July but he underperformed last season and was regularly criticised by matchgoers. United sources insist their preference would be to keep Rashford and help him to regain the form of his 30-goal season in 2022-23. However, the club have not dismissed the possibility of allowing Rashford to leave after his relationship deteriorated with manager Eric Ten Hag last season. Rashford is due to report for pre-season training on Monday and United could thrash out his future now sporting director Dan Ashworth has arrived from Newcastle. Ten Hag disciplined Rashford for attending a birthday party hours after the Manchester derby defeat to City in October and for embarking on a boozy night out in Belfast in January. For the latter, he was fined two weeks' wages of £650,000 and dropped for the FA Cup fourth-round win at Newport County. United are also conscious that potentially lucrative sales of academy players would represent a pure profit under the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules. Paris Saint-Germain are confirmed admirers of Rashford, rated at around £80 million, and they remain in the market for a forward to replace Kylian Mbappe. Scott McTominay, another graduate, has entered the final year of his contract but United have the option of an additional year. Hannibal Medjbri is already available for transfer. Rashford tallied only eight goals last season and was omitted from Gareth Southgate's England squad for the European Championship. Ten Hag recalled Rashford for the FA Cup final and the forward performed creditably in United's season salvaging victory over City. He then announced he was taking a break from social media over the summer, saying, it's time to come off socials for a few weeks. I plan to rest and reset mentally after a challenging season individually and collectively. Thanks to the fans that stood by me through a difficult period. To the ones that didn't just remember at United, we always stick together. Rasmus Hodgland has praised Manchester United transfer target Matthijs amid speculation the Bayern Munich defender is set for a move to Old Trafford. 
Eric Ten Hag, fresh from being told he will be granted at least one more season in charge, is desperate to add reinforcements to his defence. Raphael Varane has already departed with his contract having expired, while both Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire face uncertain futures. Veteran centre-half Johnny Evans is said to be in talks over a new one-year deal, while youngster Willy Camboala impressed during his breakthrough season. Lisandro Martinez will hopefully get over the fitness issues that have plagued his first two years at United but the Argentina international aside, Ten Hag lacks top-class defensive options. United have already had a £45 million offer turned down by Everton for Jerry Branthwaite this month, but the club have also held internal talks over a deal for De Ligt. The Netherlands international fell out of favour last season under Thomas Tuchel and it remains to be seen whether or not he will form a key part of Vincent Kompany's plans. Given their meagre transfer budget, United will likely struggle to meet Bayern's reported €50 million Euros asking price, but Hodgland would welcome the presence of another player who worked with Ten Hag at Ajax. That has nothing to do with me, I can't answer that question but he's a good defender, said the United striker following Denmark's Euro 2024 defeat against Germany. When asked about his future at Bayern earlier this month, meanwhile, De Ligt, who is with the Netherlands squad for Euro 2024, said, I've already said this is not the time for me to think about it. We're playing at the Euros now and that's very important for me and the national team. That's why I can't say now what I think about this situation. But what I can say is that I've now played my second season at Bayern, I'm. Manchester United are moving to sign Bayern Munich defender Matthijs de Ligt in a bid to bolster their central defence. It's widely reported that contact has been made between the club and the players' representatives and a contract running until 2029 is believed to have been offered in principle. Any move would see De Ligt and Eric Ten Hag working together once again following their time together at Ajax, where they won the Eredivisie and KNVB Cup in the 2018-19 season. Man United set to land first signing as Ratcliffe gets agreement expected a message. De Ligt joined Bayern for €67 million Euros in 2022, moving from Juventus. The German outfit are expected to demand a similar fee but a deal is likely to be sealed at a loss to them. The Dutchman's estimated transfer value, ETV, stands at €50.6 million Euros and his deal at the Allianz Arena runs until June 2027. Sky Germany's Florian Plettenberg has reported that the player's agent is hard at work to make the move come to fruition and that Ten Hag really wants to bring him to Old Trafford. He wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Monday, Bayern have now set a price for Matthijs de Ligt and are demanding at least €50 million Euros plus bonus payments. No official offer from Man United yet. Top agent Rafaela Pimenta in direct touch with Man United to find an agreement and a top solution for De Ligt as Ten Hag really wants him. How Man United would line up with Matthijs De Ligt A deal is looking very possible between Man United and Bayern and the defender could be one of the first names through the door at Man United ahead of the 2024-25 season. Despite being 24 years old, De Ligt has vast experience playing in the elite divisions and Europe. He will no doubt be a starter for Man United on the right side of defence, especially with Rafael Varane now out of the club after his contract ran down. Sitting to his left would be Lisandro Martinez, who missed most of last season through injury. His return would be greatly needed as Man United try and reclaim a spot in the Champions League. Sitting either side of the pair in the fullback positions will be Diogo Dallo and Luke Shaw.